Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of Nigerian newspapers. And I begin with the Nigerian Tribune. The major story here says, President Tinubu's era begins. President Tinubu's era begins. And uh, some writers there focusing on his policy thrust. Uh, you find all the details on the front page of uh, the Nigerian Tribune. We move to the front page of the Daily Sun now and to in the same line of uh, the story, talking about uh, the new administration, Tinubu steps in and veils agenda. Uh, pledges to be president for all, vows to defend Nigeria from terror, criminality, review Naira redesign, policy, uh, interest rate. U.S., U.K., Saudi Arabia, others hold bilateral talks with President. All the details on the front page of the Daily Sun. And to the Punch newspaper now. Nigeria won't break up, says Tinubu, meets U.S., U.K., Saudi Arabia envoys. Nigeria won't break up, says Tinubu, meets U.S., U.K., Saudi Arabia envoys. President says Nigeria will continue to exist promises not to be a dictator. Ibman opens, uh, opposes rather fuel subsidy removal, queues resurface in Abuja, Lagos, others. And uh, Biden writes, President Tinubu says Nigeria's success is world's success. We find the details on the front page of the Punch newspaper. To the Nation newspaper now, my plans by Tinubu. The Nation newspaper, my plans by Tinubu, experts back president on subsidy exchange rate policies. Details on the front page of the Nation newspaper. And to the front page of this day newspaper, Tinubu, subsidy is gone, can no longer justify uh, ever increasing costs. Subsidy is gone, can no longer justify ever increasing costs you find all the details on the front page of this day newspaper and to the daily independent removed fuel subsidies tinubu to rechannel funds into education healthcare. others says cbn currency swap policy will be reviewed pledges increased power generation distribution promises higher gdp growth rate job creation okay and the Guardian is next, still on the uh, various talking points uh, from the president's inaugural speech. Guardian says scarcity trails subsidy removal as Tinubu begins house cleaning. That's uh, the lead story on the Guardian. The Business Day reports that petrol queues resurface as Tinubu says subsidy gone. Business Day there. Let's check out first news. Tinubu Shetima sworn in acts fuel subsidy. Of course, the fuel subsidy uh, subject is still uh, very much loud on everyone's minds. This Nigeria is also speaking to that. This Nigeria says fuel subsidy regime gone for good. That's according to uh, President Tinubu. Nigerian News Direct is uh, next. Day one action. President Tinubu suspends fuel subsidy. Nigerians resort to panic buying. That's uh, from reports. Fuel subsidy will unlock 7 trillion naira revenue, ease debt, that's from analysts, and policy will draw Nigeria backward. The NLC national president is also reacting, saying the policy will draw Nigeria backward. Leadership at inauguration, it, it says, Tinobo hits ground running. Less critical reforms to focus on economy, power, agriculture, security. Leadership there. Daily Trust says fuel subsidy is gone. Uh, President Tinobu pledges Naira redesign review, higher growth rate, wants interest rates reduced. I'll work with you, U.S. President Biden assures Nigeria's President Tinobu. Still on the inauguration of the 16th President, Blueprint says NLC kicks as Tinobu phases out fuel subsidy. And that's the last paper uh, I have here. Right. Uh, all the papers are looking at uh, the talking points from the inaugural speech of uh, President Tinubu. And um, that will be our focus this morning. 
uh, especially beginning with uh, the removal of subsidies, there's been reactions, uh, a mixed bag of reactions from across the country. Few stations, we've seen few queues resurface. A uh, few stations, uh, some have uh, shut down their services, not selling fuel at all. And um, some experts are saying that uh, this is a good decision and uh, how Ni to save Nigeria 7 trillion naira, like you mentioned on the front page of one of the papers this morning. Uh, but the NLC is kicking, saying that um, it's taking Nigeria on a different path, so to speak. Recall that even before now, uh, the NLC had said that uh, there has to be some consultations with them before this decision is taken. And um, because uh, the president, the former president, right, Buhari, had gotten a loan from, I think, the World Bank to the tune of $800 million to cushion the effect of the removal of a few subsidies. But now it is here to stay. And uh, the President is saying that he will be channeling those funds used for subsidies to healthcare, education, infrastructure development, basically. And NMPC has um, also gone on to uh, react almost immediately, saying that they have enough petrol Product. supply, uh, you know, across the country. But this is a terrain that is very familiar to many Nigerians, even though I may allow that. I was a bit surprised at, you know, the response from the I am marketers, you know, looking at, okay, he announced it, but then it's not new. None of the major um, presidential candidates, all of them, at least the major uh, presidential candidates, all were on all fours with the issue of, of your subsidy, saying that subsidy. the time had come. It was indeed not sustainable. The humongous debt profile of Nigeria is 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 one of the pointers to that fact, and of course, it's it's healthy to allow divergent views on whether it should stay or not. But the, the president has said this is the line he's towing, and um, what I see from um, you know the response on the streets now is of course panic, panic buying. Uh, the marketers are hoarding, and one would expect you know, a decisive response from the government. Everybody says that they can respond. Then the government should also be ready, you know, for it. If arrests need to be made, if um, uh, uh, groups need to go around, you know, mobilizing, checking out petrol stations and all that. Consultations. Consultations. NLC had said days before now that um, they would like to engage with the president. You you, you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. And um, so now for them to now talk about, you know, the negative implications to, to the fuel subsidy removal, well, we, will, we hope to get some healthy conversations, consultations, you know, at this time around the subject. And... Um, what you said about the president also uh, applying or have gotten a loan, it's presently before... The, the former president. The, pre the, former the former president. It's presently before the federal lawmakers. So uh, we wait to see how uh, that will pan out. But uh, if you look at it again differently, the former president had also announced, and President Tinubu said so in his speech, you know, appreciating the former president for, you know, phasing out the fuel subsidy regime, even though analysts have said there seemed to be an about turn on the part of the former minister of finance, Zainab Ahmed, who said, okay, the Council of States had said, let's suspend the fuel yes, subsidy removal for now, because the initial window was to end by June, mm. the mid-year. But now we hear that the Council of States has said, since a new government is coming on board, let's rest the subject for now, the, the decision to remove, let's rest it for now and let the incoming <coughs> president come and, you know, make his own um, imputes on the matter. So um, I want to believe that, um, yes, there is room for cushioning of, um, there's, of, of cushioning of the effects that Nigerians may incur. There is a new refinery also on ground, even though work hasn't, um, you know, started, so to speak. I'm hearing that it might be August that, yes. um, you know, th that work, work will start in earnest. So let's just, you know, be patient. And Nigerians should also, you know, understand that they are doing these things to themselves. It really doesn't all go well for you to now start allowing panic to set in at a time like well, this. Well, I, I am not surprised that uh, this decision has been made. The, pre the president, uh, President Tinubu, had said that he was going to make tough decisions. And... Uh, Obviously, this is what it is. 
uh, he has hit the ground running uh, with the decision he has made. And recall that he got the handover notes from the former president just days leading up to the inaugurations. So he must have looked through uh, the handover notes and have understood that uh, this is the direction uh, the country is going, like he also promised or noted uh, in his uh, hope re renewed hope uh, document. Um, like you pointed out, it is important that we begin to look at how we look out for ourselves. We we're having this conversation earlier on before we came on set, and uh, the matter of the, the effect of this removal of subsidy, the announcement, we'll see prices of goods you know, rising. If you go to the markets, the price you got things yesterday might not be the same because they will be referring to the removal of the subsidy. Now people cannot even buy fuel. This morning, it was long queues. We could see long queues on the roads. And um, the response of government will also go a long way to addressing how this matter will be cushioned for Nigerians. Are we regulating the price? And uh, what is the government looking at? Really, Nigerians need those details so that they know how they can move forward uh, from uh, as it is with regards to the matter of uh, fuel subsidies. The government has said that this money that we'll get, um, we are going to channel it to education, which is a matter that we have been talking about, how there is the need to revamp the educational sector and uh, look at infrastructure uh, with regards to education as well. And then we look at health care, which is also a major challenge. Uh, Out-of-pocket treatment, we know, is not something that is quite friendly uh, in this part of the world. So if we are channeling those monies to these areas to cushion the effect on people's salaries such that they can easily afford these things, then the matter of the fuel subsidy may not be a huge challenge as it is. If we can get this done and that cushions the effect for people, then they can address other matters. If we have our educational system in place, healthcare in place, which are key areas, I believe that um, we'll be on the right path. And the argument has been made that um, the fuel subsidy regime ha was fraught with a lot of irregularities, a lot of corruption, fleecing of, you know, the of the Nigerian Commonwealth, so to speak, uh, the, the rich having their day, you know, dipping their hands in and yeah, out of it. it and, uh, and so to the advantage and, of the rich. Uh, he said a lot of things in, in that inaugural speech, All right. talking about the Nairi design and so many other ideals that he wants to, to have realized in the well, country. Yes, so many things he said, and uh, but the one that has affected a lot of persons or is affecting a lot of persons and we're getting reaction is a matter of uh, fuel subsidy.